Alright guys, we are back for some more Outer Worlds. I've no idea what's going to happen in this game today. It's a very blind playthrough. I've never even read anything or seen anything about the game. So, last time we were here, we just took out some... So there was a guy who was an idiot who was meant to come and pick us up, but he got... He was standing where the pylon or whatever it was came to land the beacon or my ship you're standing where my ship was meant to land so he got squished and now the, uh, the, we just got his we just freed his ship from some raiders so now the ship is trying to pretend that we're the old owner so that we can use the ship <clears throat> the AI of the ship anyway after that, I think we were meant to head to the settlement, but I'm not sure. We met some guys that were like paladins of some peacekeeping organization. Damn it, I should have loaded this. I wanted to use, I want to use that um, startup scene for the startup of the game because it's so cool. I suppose what I should do is black the screen out and leave the starting soon icon there. Like this. And then remain silent. Or get a... I probably should get a screenshot of the game. And then do it. Where is my screenshot for this game? Don't I have a... I have to. Cause, or maybe I didn't do a playlist. Did I not even put this on my... Oh, there it is, Outer Worlds. Oh, never mind, the game's on. Emerald Vale region. Skill point, skill and perk points available. If you guys want to pick the skill and perk points, we, you can do that. I'll leave it and I won't get them just yet. My computer is having issues today, so if the game is running poorly, that's why. What does she want me to do? Hello? What can I do for you, Captain? Oh god, the game is really running poorly. Goodbye. Oh, you know why? Because... Blizzard. The Blizzard launcher is taking up all the memory. I'm just gonna put that on pause for now. Let's see if that helps. If your equipment is in need of repair or modification, the Crux 2000 workbench is at your disposal, Captain. Is that this thing? Welcome to the Crux 2000 workbench. The workbench allows you to repair, upgrade, modify air weapons and armor, keeping you combat ready and in tip-top shape at all times. On each screen, first select the weapon or armor that you want to work on. Select. Tinker. Modify. How do I modify it? How do I do it? Install mod. All right, you gotta press E to install a mod. Oh. Is 
there a way to mark it as a favorite or something so you know which one you're using no idea what's 18 what's in 18 meters 20 meters me outside all right then and what does I don't remember what I meant to do stranger in a strange land Phineas needs your help to set things right in Halcyon but first you'll but you'll need transportation first find a power regulator the unreliable's power regulator has been damaged beyond repair and must be replaced Ada suggested you seek help from the nearby settlement of Edgewater talk to whoever runs the town Right, that's where we're going, Edgewater. Say, this wouldn't happen to be your ship, would it? Because you sure walked in it like it was your ship. And if this ship is yours, well, mister, you owe Spacer's Choice a hefty fine. I'm afraid we gotta dock your pay. I'll wave your fee since you helped us with those marauders. <clears throat> if you're looking for work... Talk to the constable down in Edgewater. She's got a bounty on marauders. Edgewater's not too far. Just follow the road east of here, over past the cemetery. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to inspect the crime scene before I make my report. Okay. Wow, she's annoying. Um, I don't want the gun on one. Why is the gun on one? Crap, how do I holster again? Damn it, I think I'm going to change the key. It's been a long time since I played this. Holster, hold R. Three hundred and twenty-eight meters. That's a long walk. Excuse me. There is a volcano, an active volcano over there. Uh, he's not a good guy. Why the shit didn't he see me? Is here. I'm gonna die, aren't I? Huh? Holy cow, I'm so bad. What was the button for using, uh, what's it called? Slow down mode. I don't want to play this game anymore. Fuck, I hate first person shooters. I don't have any ability to like aim at their head. My aiming is so bad. He's like, easy. Yep. Sure was, buddy. Say, this wouldn't happen to be your ship, would it? Because you sure walked in it like it was... 
Hurry the up. Ship. Oh my and god. And if the ship is yours, well, mister, you owe Spacer's Choice a hefty fine. I'm afraid we gotta dock your pay. I'll wave your fee since you helped us with those mar marauders. Oh my god. If you're looking you for can't work. Skip. Now, if you'll excuse me. Well, you can. You have to press space. I'm meant to do hardcore, aren't I? There is no way I'm hardcoring this game. Sorry, Bumfluff. Is there? <laughs> Am I going to restart the game? Where's my stamina? If I'm hardcoring this game, I am not entering combat. Like these guys, fuck that, run away. No stuff. Why is there a dead body here that I can't loot? Why put it there? Why make it interactable? <clears throat> I forgot that it's really hard to Whoa, do combat. Hey, where'd you come from? Don't go ambling out in those hills. That's marauder territory, friend. I'll say. They're dangerous. You pod? What are you on about? You take a bruise to the cranium? Ain't safe out here. You'd best head into town. Avail yourself of Edgewater's high walls. And low, low prices. I am employed by the Retirement Department of Spacer's Choice. That's fancy talk for working in the cemetery. Name's Silas. Junior in humor for the town of Edgewater. We're all part of the Spacer's Choice family. Ah, uh, heard a lot of new workers say that. First time they set eyes on Edgewater, they'll say, well, I can't work here. I don't belong here. Well, we do belong here. The Spacer's Choice family takes care of us from the cradle to the grave. As long as we provide our own cradles. Definitely not the junior in humor, that's for sure. If you've got business inquiries, you should stop by Reed Thompson's office. He's up in the tower above the cannery. Head into town, follow the road. Look, you obviously ain't a worker. W what's your racket? You a smuggler? Freelancer? I do what I want. Well, why doesn't he just say, yeah, I'm a freelancer? Depends on work. You offering me a job? Edgewater is a company town, board owned and operated. That includes the cemetery. None of us own our grave sites. We rent them from the company. Renting means money. Money means paperwork. Paperwork means signatures. Some of our families become a mite delinquent in paying their dues, you see. You want me to collect what's owed to you? I can do that. You're making people pay for their own graves? Why can't you collect these fees yourself? Company policy. If it was up to me, I'd put the whole town ten feet under. Free of charge. Wow. Violent. Quotas, mostly. Got a backlog of graves to fill. Bodies won't bury themselves, you know. Space's choice, plain and pure water. Thirst. You're thirsty and you need to drink. 
In supernova difficulty, you must drink every few hours to prevent dehydration. Consuming a non-alcoholic drink will clear your thirst and prevent dehydration for a few hours. Without drinking, your dehydration will get worse over time in four stages. Reducing your dexterity, perception, and intelligence at each stage before eventually... Death. Plain and pure water has the fluids you need for smooth skin and anti-desiccation. Space's choice. Could really go for some soul tuna. I could really go for some soul tuna. I can really go for some salt tuna. Okay, I don't have any salt. Do I? No, I don't have any salt tuna. Do I? Fast ration. Mock apple. Time I can cheese. Zero G brew. Fish stick. Sliced bread. What? I don't have water. I can hear water. Can I just drink out of the river? Whoa, well, the river is not as close as it sounds. There's water, let me drink. Water, water everywhere, and not a drop to drink. just want to change I don't know what's wrong with the mouse sensitivity mouse aiming sensitivity do you want to end your years in luxury and comfort do you dream of walking beneath the vaulted arches of Byzantium early retirement is finally here Early retirement is your ticket to Byzantium. Early retirement is Chairman Rockwell and Minister Clark's gift to you. Selection for the early retirement process is by lottery. Winners enjoy an all expenses paid trip to their new life in Byzantium. The Jewel of Halcyon. 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 That is stealing. I'm not a thief. Although I could just put a... There's no one here. I could just take it. Why is this blue? Oh, no. It's not blue. Use terminal. Space's Choice. When life gives you lemons, consider it a free trial from your friends at Space's Choice. Edgewater Saltuna Cannery. A Space's Choice property. Terminal access. Welcome, Junior and Humor. He forgot to log out. Your subscription to the Inhumans Association newsletter has expired. We'd like to invite you to renew your subscription. Act now and we'll throw in a copy of our newest publication, Shovels Gazette and Quarterly. Edgewater Cemetery is a property of the Space of Choice Company. The Space of Choice takes care of the Gravesite plots and headstones are provided by Space of Choice at an affordable rate. Comfortable, spacious plots, custom engraved headstones and monograms. Complimentary eulogy courtesy of the Order of the Scientific Inquiry. Let your spirit rest in the privacy of a Space's Choice brand graveyard. I just hacked his computer. Theodore Granger. Industrial accident. Successfully interred in gravesite 13F. Paid and accounted. Teddy Scorps was missing a hand. Deducted five bits from gravesite fee because I'm a kindly fellow. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I wanted to know that. I will find out. Oh, my goodness. oh dear, there's stuff in there that I could steal. Hacking and lockpicking skills help you get into places you're not meant to be. Is that locked? Yeah. Alright, I'm going to leave. I'm not going to steal. Can't open that door. Transition to Edgewater. 
I, I want... I can hear you all complaining about me not dying in hard... Not starting again in hardcore mode. I just want one chance, guys. One chance, please. Because... I shouldn't have taken on those marauders. Combat's going to come eventually and I'm going to die. And I'm going to have to start again. After I've been playing the game for three hours, ten hours, hundred hours, I will die and I'll have to start again. Who would do this to themselves? Always got to go to the spot where they don't want you to go. Okay, cool. Adore. Adore. Cantina specials. Two day old Saltuna. Two bits off. That doesn't sound like a very good deal. I want more than a two bit discount for food that's off. Keep your distance, friend. Sick house is no place for a traveler. Let me in. Oh. You didn't stop me. I appreciate the company and all, but you really ought to leave. You don't want to be seen around me. Because I'm sick, you don't want to associate with people in the sick house. We're not worth your time. I'm in about as much trouble as I can be. No reason you ought to be tarnished by association. People are going to talk. <clears throat> Figured it was obvious. I got sick. Couldn't get better on my own. Got moved here for everyone's sake. Maybe you don't know this, but there's a real simple reason you don't talk to the plagued. You don't want what we've got. First, I started feeling real low. Couldn't sleep. Couldn't wake up on time. Started showing up late to my post. Morale was flagging. I was showing doubt. Company always tells us Weak spirits lead to weak bodies. If I didn't want to fall sick with plague, maybe I should have worked harder. Maybe I should have taken more pride in my work. I really wish you wouldn't say those sorts of things. I told you once already. People could be listening. I'm feeling a touch faint. If you don't mind, I'd like to be alone for a spell. Oh, there's something weird. There's something weird going on in this sea. That see that little thing? I would not be able to hit that with a gun. Boss won't let us have any Adrena time. Whoa, is she dead? She looks dead. So to see, but I just saw him sit down. So there goes that theory. Sorry guys, it was me. I let I let him out. Oh, don't steal. He's dead. Why can't I have his stuff? Oh, there's a toilet in here. But you can't use it? Oh, boo. No. Please don't touch anything. Your hands are probably crawling with germs. Physical hygiene recapitulates moral hygiene. Cleanliness is next to lawfulness. Godliness. We don't believe in free anything here in Edgewater. We're a spacer's choice company. I'm Conrad. You will report to me if your hair fails to meet spacer's choice aesthetic standards. Oh, it definitely doesn't. You will also doesn't. report to me in the event of your death. Whereupon, I will clean and prepare your remains for interment. A ship? Dear me. You seem to have lost the ability to distinguish between reality and fantasy. 
this is what happens when you let your imagination run wild. I don't approve of fantasizing. It's a dreadful habit, corrosive to the mental faculties. You ought to let the vicar take a look inside your head. Well, that sounds dangerous. Vicar Maximilian, our man from the OSI, here to spread the message of scientism like a soothing scientism. bomb on a feverish head. Or so you'd expect. You'll find him in our local church, probably neglecting his duties. He doesn't seem to like us much. The vicar has not been with us long, and in his relatively short tenure in Edgewater, gives off the distinct whiff of superiority. Because <laughs> you Go are ahead. the weirdos. Edgewater has been good to me. I consider myself privileged to work here. I am never wanting for work, not since the plague started. The plague's come at us with a vengeance this year. Lost six workers in as many months. I wouldn't call them good workers, mind you. If they were any good, they'd have been treated. Still, it is a shame. Fever, chills, fatigue, aching, vomiting, an excess of phlegm. A tendency towards belly aching. Belly aching. Company policy, friend. We don't have enough medicine to treat all of us, so we treat the best among us. I would just like to say, he's complaining about my dirty hands. Look at his face. That is not freckles. Mr. Thompson's brainchild. Have you met him yet? Thoughtful looking fellow, stares out of his office most hours. Okay, bye crazy doctor dude. You are nuts. Boy, you're evil. Spaces Choice Cantina. Mm, this place is a hot hive of scum and villainy. Watch yourself. I'm not afraid. I'm... What does he say? I'm not afraid of anything. Sorry. I got a lot to do. Just gotta keep my... I don't have time for this. Yes, you do. You're sitting there drinking. Just gotta keep my head... Whoa. Someone to talk to. <laughs> Never seen you here before. You a visitor? Welcome. On behalf of the Spacer's Choice family, let me welcome you to, to, uh, where am I again? What the hell? Oh, I ask myself questions all the time. For example, why do we spend money on these fancy latrines when we have a perfectly good wall outside? I am in no condition to do any work. Not so long as my injuries trouble me. Good one, mate. Good one. Yep. Got my mitt stuck in a rotor wheel. Shredded my wrist up real good. Conrad went and sewed up my hand, but I couldn't do much about the pain. Boss was real generous to me, though. Got myself a 5% discount on Zero G Brew. After the second bottle, the only pain I feel is emotional. <laughs> Hey, Conrad's a surgeon. Well, he's a barber. That's like surgery, but for your hair. What the hell? Okay, bye. These people are weirdos. You read the latest report? Only the part that said we ain't making our quotas. If only hmm? McDevitt's folk hadn't abandoned us, Cannery could use those extra hands. Nothing we can do. I don't know you. Whoa, look at her face. The unreliable, you say? Never heard of any company supply ship with that particular name. I don't know what you're about, but this here is a Spacer's Choice drinking establishment. We're all loyal, hardworking company folk here. Nah, I'm contractually obligated to serve you. Just not gonna be too happy about it. If you're gonna have a drink, I'd like to ask that you do it within the premises. 
Can't have you taking drinks over to those deserters. Deserters? <sighs> Traitors. The lot of them. Bunch of folks decided they were tired of working and went out into the wilds to fend for their own selves. Mm. Town's already struggling to make quotas, even without that band of slackwits abandoning their posts. Bunch of lazy, shiftless rung leeches. Rung leeches. Anyway, enough about them. What can I do for you? Hmm. Do you now? And what makes you think Mr. Thompson wants to talk to you? He's a busy man. You want to talk to Mr. Thompson, try ignoring your duties. He'll summon you up to that great big tower atop the cannery, and you'll get yourself a proper dressing down. It is a good thing. If you're not pulling your weight, you don't deserve to live here. Simple as that. Well, I don't live here. You guys are nuts. Go ahead. I don't see how that's any of your business. And there's no need for you to pry either. Ugh, is this the start of a joke? If you want me to laugh at your jokes, it's a three drink minimum. Most folk forget where they're standing after a few drinks. Seems to me you've got a head start. I probably shouldn't Anyhow, be telling this. Anyhow, so whatever people. happens outside the walls is not my business. Only deserters and marauders wander out there. And I cannot tell you which I revile more. No. My world is these four walls, that door, and a row of mugs that need cleaning. Wow, what a life. Let me make something clear. Spacer's choice has been real good to me. The town's been real good to me. I start gallivanting around outside the walls, poking around in places I shouldn't be, learning things I've got no right to know. People will talk. <laughs> Won't ever catch me asking about the world outside. Else the town's gonna say Amelia's gone soft. That Amelia's pondering desertion. <laughs> I don't want that. Keep it down, will you? We don't talk about the P-L-A-Y-G-E. Not here. <laughs> and if you're smart, you won't mention it anywhere. I've said enough. People come here to drink their problems away. If they wanted to face their problems, they'd go see our vicar. Okay, bye. Boring conversation anyway. Whoa. Is this the toilets? Oh, it's set up just like a real bar. Wow, I hate the controls of this game. Look, it's like wobbling all over the place. I've got some time. Oh my goodness, everyone wants to talk. What do you do here? Oh, I'm an actuary. That means I keep tabs on a worker's living expenses. How much it costs to feed, clothe, shelter, bury, and replace your average human worker. Technically, I'm employed by the Spacer's Choice Department of Human Resources. Technically. All right, thank you. She sounds like she's a rebel. Healing. Yep. I'm okay to read people's computers though. Schedule your sick leave with Spacious Choice Foreman and or Supervisor. Be considerate toward other members of Spacious Choice family. Allow two to four weeks to process and approve your scheduled sick leaves. <laughs> Lost hours must be compensated to the company. See Reed if you're having trouble paying for your sick leave. We'll try to arrange wage deductions. Remember, work invigorates the spirit. Sickness in the body reflects sickness in the mind and sickness in the character. If you find yourself falling ill, it may be time to schedule a meeting with our local vicar. Okay. <clears throat> 
Seems like that was a public message. Oh, what is this? Vending machine discovered. I didn't discover a vending machine. What does this sign say? Kick me. Okay. You could take some gourmet salt tuna fillets and take it to the guards outside. They want some salt tuna. What the? Okay, that's what's behind that door. So there are two different doors. I probably don't need to be in here yet. Ooh, is a computer that is unguarded. Messages from Thompson. Phyllis, owing to your hard work and positive attitude, I've sanctioned an ac your access to medical treatment. As you know, the company has not provided us enough with enough medicine to treat every worker. I wish I could treat every member of the Spaces Choice family who fell ill to this plague, but I cannot. Medical privileges are strictly merit-based. Please do not, under any circumstances, distribute your ration of medication to any other worker. Why not? Password required. Hack? Well, I'm a good hacker. Did I choose hacking when I started? I don't remember. Password tenderfoot accepted. Welcome, P. Granger. Theodore buried last night. Reed asked me not to report his death to our quarterly sounds fair to me was asked to prepare a statement or something for the other workers been thinking about it don't know what to tell them don't end up like Theodore do your work show up wear a smile and you'll get your medical privileges what a nice message oh hello you the new worker Whatever. Make it quick, Tenderfoot. I'm busy. Foreman Granger, mind those words don't come out of your mouth unless preceded by yes or right away or thank you. I'll let you get back to work. Because <laughs> I don't work for you. got two doors into her room let's see can I drop down yes it doesn't hurt nice uh oh Miss Holcomb I need you to explain this to the grease monkey Argo I'm sorry, Mr. Thompson, sir. You asked why it's taking so long to fix. The answer's technical. Don't apologize. Just try using small words for me. The cans bust open in the oven because she's set to cook saltuna, which isn't what we've got. Mr. Thompson, I think there's someone here to see you. Focus, Miss Holcomb. You and I are still talking. Let's start over. Walk me through the process. Show me where it's going awry. Well, sure. It's uh, mostly on account of what we're feeding into the mechanism. It puts food in. Oh, good. Now I've got sleep deprivation. Cans. We have food. We have sleep? cans. Why won't it work like we need? She's expecting Saltuna of a certain size. We're filling the cans with. Seems we've got a guest. Oops. Really now, Parvati, I do wish you'd spoken up. I do apologize. I was given no forewarning of your arrival, or I might have welcomed you at the gates myself. I'm Reed Thompson, outpost administrator. I cannot help but notice you are not in uniform. Because I'm not part of your ridiculous organization. Shirt, pants, work boots, company approved colors, the, uh, honorable apparel of a loyal worker? Yes, so it dawns on me. Seems I allowed my excitement to run away with my wits. Been a few seasons since we've had a visitor pass through. Only regulator we got is hooked up to the town transformer. 
Mr. Thompson ain't liable to be keen on dismantling it. I beg your pardon. I am most emphatically not keen on any such thing. I can't let you have our power regulator. But I happen to know of another one. And I happen to know exactly how you may retrieve it without frying yourself in the process. Here we go. Oh, yes. Saw someone put his hands on a regulator while the power was running. His legs were still twitching when we buried him. There's a power regulator in the old botanical lab. It's mostly abandoned, so all that power is being squandered. Go down to the geothermal plant. Reroute power from the botanical district over to us. Once their power shut down, you can have their regulator and be along on your way. I was not entirely sure how to tell you this. The botanical labs are not legally oh, inhabited, God. but there are people who live there. No, I do not imagine they will be pleased. But like a parent disciplining an unruly <laughs> child, you will be doing them a kindness. The people living in the botanical labs, they're deserters, former workers. I need them back at their posts. I need them to come home. Hedgewater is struggling. We haven't hit our production quota in years. If we don't meet our quotas this year, the company might shut us down for good. I need those workers back at their stations. Neither do I. The fault was entirely mine. I pushed them too hard. My hope is that by cutting off their power, you will convince those deserters to come back to town. Before you go to the plant, I want you to stop by the botanical lab. Speak to their leader, Adelaide. Tell her the power's about to go, and that it's time her band of deserters came back to town. Oh dear. Adelaide's older than the other deserters. She's dignified, kindly. From what I understand, her camp looks to her for leadership. That is not a hypothetical I enjoy entertaining. We need Adelaide back. Nonetheless, I will settle for the return of her followers. We belong to one community, the Spacer's Choice family. If we dissolve into factions, then we will all perish separately. Adelaide will understand that. Of course, I understand completely. Here, let me give you the passcode to the geothermal plant. A sign of good faith for so politely listening to me as I ramble on. Are you setting off for the Vale? Because I know my way around. I, I mean, in case you want a guide. I mean, if that's all right with you, Mr. Thompson. Sir. I hesitate to part ways with Miss Holcomb, but I cannot deny that she is talented. Yes, and thank you. Give me someone who can shoot. You. Because I can't. Sure, I can use the company. Great! I got my wrenches. She and wants to get out of town. And hairpins and engine tape, so I'm all set. Well, I am glad to hear that. Best of luck to you. And thank you again for your help. It is a lot to ask of a stranger, I know. Dude, I didn't say I was going to do anything. Companions, you've gained a companion. They are characters that join you in your adventures and help you. Combat support, enhance your skills, carrying capacity. You unlock. You can unlock special commands. Okay, cool. Thank you. Catches. Whoa! She got in there quick. I thought you were gonna miss it. We better clear out of Mr. Thompson's office before we talk. I'm not in his office. Hey, Mister, can we talk? Sorry. Can we chat? Yeah, we gotta get out of the office first, though. You said. I just tried to talk to you. Sorry. I... You just want to get out of here. And you likely don't want to tag along like me. It's just... Mr. Thompson has his own view on matters. On account of it's his job and, and what all, but... That's what not the all? only side of the tale. <clears throat> oh, he ain't a liar. He believes every word he says. It's just, he doesn't always get where other folk are talking from. To Mr. Thompson, a person's a gear. It does its job quiet-like. 
If it squeaks or stutters, it gets replaced. The deserters are decent folk. I knew some of them before they left. Why didn't you go with them? Yeah, I can't blame anyone. This town's got issues. Life's hard here. Especially for them that don't fit in so well. We're one big Spacer's Choice family, but every family's got the one the rest whisper about. Ooh, Mr. That? Thompson's aiming to take away their power. They'll have no lights to see, nor heat to cook. They'll be at the mercy of marauders, or worse. I think you should talk to the town's vicar about it. Max, his name is. Uh-oh. Thanks, mister. I just think when you gotta make a decision that'll hurt somebody, it's best to think on the right and wrong of it. Oh, I don't want to. Dad used to say, anyways. I want to take out Thompson. Okay, let's go to the vicar. What's well, sixty meters away? Botanical lab. What's over here? All right, that's probably an exit to the town. I'm sorry. I'll just be a minute. You had a minute. Next one comes out of your pay. He's off the threats, friend. I'm going. Boss's orders. We all got quotas to make. Man, these people. Uh, what? How do I get in there? Oh, there. Through the door, I guess, would be the right place to go. I've always felt weird in here. It's too clean. And unlike the doctor's office. Hey there, Mary. Don't see you round here too often. Oh, I just came to talk to the vicar is all. None of us are above confessionals. What have you got to confess? You ain't thinking of deserting, are you? What? No, 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 no. And I resent the accusation. Wasn't nothing but a question. Do excuse me. I must be on my way. Verity to you. Verity to you. Mm, mm, mm. I want to talk to her. Our place in the universe is fixed. Yeah. And what have you got to confess? Talking to the good vicar always lifts up my spirits. Talking to the good vicar always lifts up my spirits. There he is. Yes, Later. what is it? You're an outsider. Fantastic. Vicar Maximilian de Soto at your service. Or Vicar Max, if you're the sort who prefers brevity. And Ms. Holcomb as well. How rare to see you out. And with a complete stranger. Curious. Just tagging along, Vicar de Soto. Don't mind me. I so rarely get new people to talk to. Name your poison, anything at all. Spiritual counseling, this season's tossball predictions, the quickest way out of town. Not to put too fine a point on it, but your choice of wardrobe is not precisely common hereabouts. Pavati's not wearing the uniform either. Worker gaze. Usually either a deadening behind the eyes, or in some rare cases, a wild-eyed frenzy. Like a trapped animal. <laughs> Pretty universal here. Except for Ms. Holcomb, who for some reason doesn't seem to have much to say to me. Isn't that right? It's just... There's more to it all than numbers. Sorry. I'm simply bemoaning the level of spiritual awareness in this town. Yes, but there are few who hear me in this miserable place. I must double my efforts to elevate my flock. These are good, hard-working people here. Yes, and thank you for pointing it out. It is wrong of me to succumb to distress. This place could be so much more, and I will continue in my quest to make it so. But what? I, I thought you would talk to him. You wanted to speak to me, Ms. Holcomb? 
Every time I've tried to engage you in conversation, you look at the floor, answer in single words, and slink away. I can't imagine what would be so grave as to drive her to my mission. What has Mr. Thompson asked you to do? Depriving them of safety from the marauders and wildlife. I can see why that troubles you. Miss Holcomb has a soft heart. Always has, if you believe the talk. They rejected the order of society and live beyond the walls so thoughtfully provided by our Spacer's Choice patrons. Does that strike you as a responsible life choice? I'm not intelligent. Assuming your goal is to save as many as possible, then you should bring everyone together. Send the power to Edgewater and convince the deserters to return to the fold. I don't want to. I want to convince them to take the town. If it were as easy as a few soothing words in the right ears, I'm sure it would have been done already. Consider it a challenge. If you don't mind a bit of unsolicited advice, be cautious on your way to the geothermal plant. It is not as safe as you might assume. I imagine it's not. One of the reasons I transferred here was to fulfill my duty in hunting down banned heretical texts. I happen to know such a book is, as we speak, tainting a collector's library in Emerald Vale. However, the collector's residence lies outside the town's walls. My retrieval efforts have been thwarted by marauders who have overrun the property. Should you fare better than me, I'd pay a handsome sum for the book. I just want to keep the writing out of layman's hands. It wouldn't do for such information to fall into public consumption. Mm-hmm. Glad we see eye to eye. It's a handwritten journal. A faded blue cover with the name M. Bakonu handwritten in the lower corner. I'll mark where I saw it on your map. Assuming you're serious? I'm gonna try It is and... not only a beautiful... Not many in this oh. colony could understand its true... Thank you. If you retrieve it, you can always find me here. I was going to go back and say, well, sounds like someone might want to hear that you're interested in this book. Never mind. I got cornered in the conversation. I wonder if the plague's ever going to pass. Just keep working. Work fortifies the spirit. All right, let's get out of town. And get killed by marauders. <laughs> I just need to find out what the key was for the slow mode. Tactical time dilation, Q. I'm still bad at shooting. The only source of protein a busy worker needs. What is she putting in the cans, though, if it's not salt tuna? Oh, that was not the entrance I went in. Five hundred and sixty two meters away. Deserters in our midst, the enemy seeks to destroy our way of life. There are their town is right next to a live volcano. Fun. What's Got Zed? It. Oh, tell her to go there. What's X?
Sure. Wait, can I ask her about what the vicar said? Oh, X. Won't work. I'm going. Coming back. Right. Hold Z to get her back. Something you need? Yeah, I want to know. You mean about the mission being too clean? I know, but Vicar says the universe is a machine, that it runs by law. Real machines have gunked up oil, scratches, and worn bits. You can tell they've seen handling, been used by folk. The machine Vicar sees is one ain't never been run. It, it's not for people to live in. It's something on a museum shelf, under glass. The Vicar's about the only soul in the Vale who spends his time thinking on what is and ain't right. It's just that when he looks at me, I feel I disappoint him. Dude, what? I wanted to talk about it more. Oh, here's... this looks like it. Oh, shivers. A combat drone? Woohoo! I can take something! Bit cartridge, nice. Nothing in the combat drone. 430 meters. Well, oh, it's leaking fuel everywhere. Can't search the bin. What kind of game is this? Interesting. Uh oh. Shh. Yeah, I know. It's a marauder. Holy shivers. Can I sneak around them? I don't want to fight them. Please tell me my companion is invisible to enemies. ship flying through. Oh. This is a bit of a busy area. It's not what the what's this? A dead canid?
Yum. Oh crap, that reminds me, I forgot to get, wow. Oh, Grace Ramiro. I forgot to get food and water and bed. Move along, stranger. We don't want any trouble. I'm here to talk to people. I don't know you. Whatever you're looking for, it ain't here. Move along. I'm looking for Adelaide. I need some answers. Answers, huh? You must be one of those philosophicals. Already oh. got ourselves one of those. Reed says something about former workers living out in the wilderness. Yeah, that's us. And you can tell Thompson we're doing just fine by ourselves. If you're going to start wandering around my camp, know that I got my sights on you. Okay, your camp? A geo what? Look, plants eat my purview. You're better off asking after Adelaide. Enough with the questions. No offense, but I've got a lot on my mind. Uh, where is Adelaide? Wait. Well, look at you, buzzing around the Aether with your very own ship. Rest of us gotta make do with the ground at our feet. No, I'm sorry. That was unworthy of me. Lady named Zoe went missing some nights ago. Just up and vanished without a trace. Now I'm pacing around wondering if Marauders got to her. Well, if they did, doesn't that mean she's out? I go looking for Zoe, I leave the camp undefended, seeing as I'm the only one of us who knows her way around the gun. Hence my dilemma. Vex me. If she told anybody, they ain't telling me. I'd check her room, but I got yelled at for snooping once already. Little ways ago, she was always obsessing over her serial dramas. Wanted to see what the fuss was about. Could be. Dangers are plenty out there. No telling why marauders would steal somebody like Zoe. Got no useful skills, far as I could tell. She fell in love with a marauder. Well, enough to know we never got on. Zoe and Stefan were close. If anybody knows the workings of her mind, he does. You seem so personable. I can't imagine how you didn't get she on with her. She was lazy and thoughtless, but she's still one of our own. Well, keep an eye out. It's not like Zoe to go wandering. Figured she might be out scavenging, but that ain't exactly her talent. What is her talent? Can't she doesn't imagine have any where talents. she's gone. Pale's a wide place. She could be anywhere. <laughs> Unless Marauders got to her, then parts of her could be in lots of places. Could do without the gallows humor. <laughs> Over in the hothouse, tending crop. All right, catch ya. Let's go to the hothouse. Something you need? Nope, okay. She doesn't want to talk about how pretty it is. She just wants to mention it. If you're hungry, there's meat turning on the spit Whoa, outside. Whoa, she's old. If you're bearing illness, find a place to lay your head down and I'll fetch you a poultice. Whatever your troubles with Edgewater, leave them at the gates and be welcomed here. Any questions, dear? You must be I Adelaide. I have been called that, among other things. Green Thumb, Grandmother, the strange old lady who keeps flowers. But yes, Adelaide will do just fine. We're certainly not going to use the Excuse last me, one. Excuse me, Miss McDevitt? Sorry, it's just... You got such pretty trees in here. Why, thank you. You're Robert's girl, aren't you? I remember when you were but a sprout. 
Thomas speaks of you often. Are you staying long? You should try some of my tobaccorn tea. I brew it in an old spittoon, but it's been cleaned. No, oh dear. The garden belongs to us all. Life is the gift of the universe, and the universe yields its bounty equally, absent of prejudice. Well, I'm surprised you managed to grow anything out here. The soil around the Vale went sour years ago, but I found a way to sweeten it back up. The secret recipe is a little bit of elbow grease, a dash of love, and a heaping pile of special fertilizer. I'm pretty sure it's just the fertilizer. Reed Thompson? You here on behalf of that cold-eyed reptile? Let's hear it. What's Reed's idea of peace, then? I can't say I blame you. Reed is positively soporific. Like everything else that comes out of Edgewater, that peace offering is canned. I and my own are living just fine out here by ourselves. But I need power. He would do such a thing. The question is, why would you agree to his plans? Cannery's got a regulator. You want ship parts, you ought to rip them out of the cannery's guts and leave us be. I like that idea. If you're going down to the plant, you should divert power away from Edgewater and toward our end of the grid. Think about it. You'd be liberating an entire town from a lifetime of service to that odious cannery. Seems the sort of thing a hero would do. She's evil, isn't she? You've seen that miserable excuse for a town with your own lamps. Hollowed out workers laboring their lives away at the cannery, living off whatever scrap spacer's choice throws them. You know that's true, don't you, Ms. Holcomb? Your father died of overwork. His heart gave out. He, he was tired all the time, sure, but he was old, ma'am, and he raised me all by his lonesome. Look what they did to this child. Lost her family to the company, and still she defends them. I'm all right. I ain't so fragile. That was unkind of me. I'm sorry, dear. It's not much of a living. Every single person in that town has sold themselves to Spacer's Choice. The company owns them. Body, blood, and bones. You've been there. You've seen it. All anyone ever does is toil over a cannery. They give their lives for some heartless corporation, and then they're tossed into a Spacer's Choice brand cemetery. Life in Edgewater grinds to a halt. The cannery shuts down. Workers desert in droves, and our own little camp grows and thrives. You've got one person that can shoot people. He's got like a whole army of guards. You bring power to Reed's town and you'll be killing us. Reed knows it. He's counting on it. I trust you will listen to your conscience. Right. I'm hungry. In super, yeah, blah blah. I need food. Why don't I? Oh, well, I've got food. I just don't have water. Tar mac and cheese. If. I'm fine with food. I need water, man. Does she have water? Look at all this water. Can I have a drink? Where do your people go for water? Oops. Geothermal master control. Anyway, guys, I think that's all we've got time for. 
sorry I didn't get a chance to die again so that I can restart the game. Oh my goodness, can you imagine? I'm gonna die. I'm certainly gonna die, so don't worry. I'll get the opportunity to restart very soon. But I think that's all we've got time for today. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, subscribe, follow, and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.